how to make a big mouth fish. So he starts like this and then he goes like this. So it doesn't have to be a fish you make. Once you've learned the technique, you might decide um, that you want to do something different. It could be a turtle or a rabbit or a chicken and an egg. Could be anything. So um, let's get on with how you do it. You will need some crayons, some dye or paint or some felt, um, a pencil and some paper. Okay, let's get on with it. Okay, so we're going to fold our paper in half like this, which is the easy part of the folding. And then you're going to fold it in half again. So you want to fold part of it back to meet the folded line. So it's like that. And then the other part is going to fold back to meet the folded line. So it's like this at this point. Now what you want ideally then is um, these two parts are going to be the top and the bottom of the fish and then when you open it that part in there that's going to be um, where his mouth grows really big okay so once you've got it folded you need to have that bit sticking out the back okay so once you have got your um, paper folded like this you're going to lay it down so that the top part and the bottom part are lined up ready for you to draw your fish okay so I'm going to start here at the line to draw the top part of the fish I'll give him a little fin and then I'll come down and give him a tail okay then at the bottom we're going to do the same again we want to come down give him okay so we are going to draw the mouth coming all the way in and then widening out and then all the way out. Now in this gap we want a little terrified fish swimming away because he is about to get chomped. So there he is looking terrified. Now you want to give this, teeth, this uh, fish some teeth. So you're going to do those all the way down and then all the way up. And then you want to join his tail together all the way down. Now this bit, he does want to have his eye on the top part. His scales, you kind of need to join him back together to make the scale so that they join up when he's closed. So make them quite big, otherwise you're gonna have heaps to do once he's opened up. So you want to go big, like that. Okay, now when you do the scales, you always start in the middle of the hump, if you see what I mean. Um, so this time I'm gonna start in the middle here, so I can go over. Like that. It doesn't have to have scales the whole way. He doesn't even have to have them at all. You could do them stripy, a stripy fish, or however you would like him to be. Totally up to you. I'm just going to do that many for now. Okay. And that way, then when you open him up, you can carry on the scales, but in the same kind of size, all the way down, and then they should meet up just like that. There you go. So I've always start in the centre of the hump and you'll do that all the way through until you have got him all scaled up. Okay, so I'm just going to um, fill in the remaining scales with either stripes or spots with my crayons or some sort of patterns so that then I can fill everything else in with um, the dye or the paint or the food colouring that you're going to use to fill in the extra gaps. So get patterning.
Okay, now it's time to um, go over each scale with a different colour dye. You will need your water to swish your brush in um, in between so that you don't mix the colours. It's a good idea to do all the same colours at the same time. So I'm going to go red first and all the ones that I want to be red, I'm just going to paint red right now. So I'm going to try and mix it up and spread them out so they're not all together. You have to be pretty careful with um, your brush because if it goes onto the other scales it's going to contaminate them straight away. See how it's bouncing away from the uh, pastel that you've done? Okay, so now I'm going to clean my brush and I'm going to swap to green now. Okay, once you've filled in all your scales, you can use um, a colour to fill in the rest of the fish. I'm going to put a bit of red in with my yellow to make an orange, and he's going to be an orange fish. You can, of course, colour your fish in however you want. You don't have to use dye or paint. You can just use felts or crayons. It's totally up for you. This one's a bit of a mixed um, media effort because Ruby started in felt tip pens. Then I swapped over to crayon and dye. So we've got everything going on in this one. Just going to add um, a few bits of seaweed coming up here, just for a little bit of interest. You could also have other sea creatures in here if you wanted to. Um, and I'm going to put lots of bubbles in as well especially from this little fish that's quite worried. So I'm just doing it with white uh, crayon, which you won't be able to see at the moment. But um, once I dye it, you're going to be able to see all the little bubbles. I'm going to put some blue ones as well. Okay. Okay, so last of all, I'm just going to paint in the sea blue. I've added some water to this blue food colouring and a bit of green so that you get kind of an aqua colour. And there you go. Just going to paint it all in. And the bubbles should come alive once you have got those onto your page. And there you go, big mouth fish chasing the little guy. Thanks for watching. See you next time.